Hi. Yeah, I know. I know what she's thinking. You just can't see me. I'm doing a cool voiceover with a sexy montage. So, cue dramatic montage. Okay, so to give this video a bit of context, I want to talk a bit about your body, your mind, and your conscious. So, the body. It sends this little message, oh, hey Connor, looks like you're coming down with something. Nose, head, stomach, etc. I call that your gut feeling. That's why it exists. So, I want to talk about your mind. It's a massive role of how and why we get sick. Most people think it's down to being a hypochondriac. I... I agree, sort of, lightly. I am hypochondriac to a degree. Your mind automatically overthinks and tries to pre-plan for what's to come, but you fall short because you don't know the full extent. So imagine this, you come across a wall, right, and you look over and you can't determine how deep the drop is. It could be a two foot drop or it could be a 20 foot drop. You just don't know. That's the whole point of my metaphor that I'm trying to tell here. That's the whole point. Don't jump over walls, kids. So I found to try and keep your brain as active as possible, so doing things like reading, writing, drawing, anything that's creative because creativity it stimulates your brain and that's why that's why I try to do, sort of. <laughs> so lastly, your conscious and subconscious. So to break it down, your subconscious is the root of everything. Now I mean everything. That's where all your thoughts, actions, dreams and nightmares start. And that's not the scary part. Now, if we were to try and think about it in a more simple way, Here's how I put it. It controls your whole body, basically. Like your whole body, head to toe. And that's not the worst part. Your conscious mind is what you don't do, and technically speaking, it's what you don't do as well, because you're scared to do it. So what's the scary part? Well, essentially, here's how it works. Your subconscious sends the message, thought, action, etc. up to your conscious mind. That feeling, that bit of anxiety that you get in your stomach, it's your conscious mind using everything in its power to try and stop you from doing that said thing. To me, I feel it uses up all your fears, emotions, um, and dreams against you because it has that power. So, right, I'm gonna finish this up and here's the most important part. We can stop it, alright? So tell yourself something positive every single day and say that you're gonna achieve that and you're gonna do it. And set goals as well. Your mind will start to visualize that. It's just a matter of taking that moments before you do achieve that said thing. So with that being said guys, I'm just going to leave the video here. I hope you did like it. If you did find it um, interesting or informative and you feel it did help you in some sort of way, please leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you new and like my face. Until next time. Your conscious mind is is what you don't. <laughs> your con your conscious mind is your conscious mind is is what you don't. <laughs> I'll get it. I will get it in the edit. <laughs>